bowels of an old dog. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Elliot. Oh, shit. Hold on. Forgot to, <laughs> forgot to share it. Oh, shit. It. It's on the screen. Okay. So, I, I guess we could... We're going to have to kind of start, like... Yeah, let's just start there, I yeah. guess. <laughs> it gets uh, everyone uh, an idea of how exactly we're recording this. And, and the disadvantages of having a single monitor. <laughs> I, I would. I, I'm just here for like the likely minute one reaction. So they see this thumbnail on their feed and they're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just here to remind you, folks, that it, you know, for Halloween Fest, it's not all doom and gloom. Sometimes it's not just a matter of uh, fitting the aesthetic in a horror sense, but just fitting the aesthetic in, in, a, in a goofy, uh, mischievous sense. Yeah. And, when we were talking about, oh, what are, what are a couple of games that we can do just, like, fill the time, right? And then Elliot just nonchalant, unironically mentioned Pajama Sam. And then I, I, I took a split second to think about that. I was like, yeah, you know what? The first game does kind of fit the vibe, doesn't it? Yeah. And, like, I actually remember, like, a few, like, years ago we tried recording this for the first time. and I We tried recording it on the Wii. If no, no, it was still the PC one. Was it still the PC? Yeah, we didn't have the, the Wii one. Because I know this game and a couple of other humongous entertainment games were re-released on WiiWare. Yeah, there were. Uh, but I, I, I never... I, I, I never... Okay, well, I haven't played any of these games in over 20 years. Uh, but this is a blast for the past for both of us. Yeah. Because this... This harkens back. So, oh, first of all, this is Pajama Sam. <laughs> uh, no <laughs> Let's get that out there real quick. Pajama Sam, no need to hide when it's dark outside. That's the full subtitle for this one. This is the first game of a trilogy, that, not including spinoffs. Uh, there was No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside, Thunder and Lightning Aren't So Frightening, and You Are What You Eat From Your Head to Your Feet. Yes. Uh, which I have not played. It's the only one I have not played of the mainline Pajama Sam series. But this is part of... Uh, the now defunct humongous entertainment lineup yeah. where uh, since the early 90s they would be responsible for a bunch of uh, edutainment PC games starting as early as like 1992 with Putt Putt which I thought at first was like a golf game because with a name like Putt Putt I thought it was like oh we're, we're, we're gonna head down to the, the, the grassy knolls and you know shoot a bunch of holes but no it's just it's it's a car and yeah with the, a dog. The muffler the, yeah, the the muffler makes a putt putt noise so that's that's basically where it stems from yeah but uh our first exposure to uh pajama sam humongous entertainment in general was in the mid to late 90s this goes back as far as for me specifically 1997 because uh, our first computer was a packard bell piece of shit thing but it <laughs> it you know it, it it got us going and it it exposed me to the wide world of the internet message boards aol <laughs> uh, and uh pc gaming which granted back then was just a bunch of edutainment shit and space cadet pinball yeah although, and although, although space cadet pinball is a goat like yeah that, yeah that like, is a still, goated still, app <laughs> still is to this day not gonna argue with that but eventually, we would start purchasing a bunch of CD-ROMs from Sam's Club <laughs> because they always had them on sale. And I don't think we could have gotten them as easily at uh, Funko Land, which would eventually become like GameStop and EB Games and you know KB Toys and shit like that. But some of the earliest memories I have with playing games on a, com a personal computer, a home personal computer was humongous entertainment stuff it was this game and it was backyard sports baseball yeah uh to this day when i go to cons and someone recognizes me i always jokingly refer to myself as pablo sanchez from backyard, backyard sports baseball. <laughs> and most of the time people don't get what i'm talking about and it's like you know that's cool it's essentially my veterans reward discount yeah <laughs> if you actually understand what i'm talking about but this game in particular, I think, is probably the one I put the most time in, which is not saying much because this game is not that long, especially if you know what you're doing. Yeah. Like, but if you were to doesn't skip, change the fact, though. I played a lot of this game. Like, if you were to skip every cutscene in this game, you could finish this game in, like, probably, like, five minutes. 
at the same time though i i, I think speed running pajama sam completely fucking misses the point of this <laughs> uh because so i guess like, how would you describe pajama sam uh, uh, as a what kind of game would you classify it as uh pretty much a point and click adventure where almost yeah. everything is interactive yeah that's the thing about humongous entertainment games specifically well for the point and click adventures too like i'm not entirely sure how much like the backyard sports lineup did this but there is detail everywhere yeah. in every screen in this game and many other games like it like if if you think you can interact with it you most likely can uh, but we should probably get into the, the the actual plot of the game itself. And yeah, it's just we're going old school for this one, folks. It's just me and Elliot. Yep. Uh, for this adventure, so you know, want to go back to like old school SGB? Here we go. We're playing one of the first games we ever played it on a personal computer, so this is kind of uh, kind of appropriate. Yeah. So, but, so the game stars well, Sam. Yeah. I don't think his first name is Pajama. I think it's just <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Pajama uh, Marshall Sam PMJ PMS <laughs> and Sam uh, like a lot of kids around uh, around their age uh, has, is enamored with superheroes uh, and comic books and that entirely and uh, what, what was the hero's name uh, Pajama Man Pajama Man there we go and uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly like he lost something like he he, he no he he he's certain that there was some sort of evil creature hiding in his closet and thanks to being emboldened and groomed by pajama man <laughs> he, he puts on his uh, signature pajama man headband he's got a flashlight he's got a lunch box he's ready to go inside the closet and tackle whatever evil awaits and it just so happens that his closet holds a gateway <laughs> to one of i guess the seven circles of hell that looks pretty it was pretty jovial all things considered you got a depressing boat here i think the boat his name is Otto. Otto, right? yeah. Uh, and the first thing that happens as soon as we get to this place is that he gets his shit stolen from a bunch of trees, which if you've seen Evil Dead, you know who that could have gone an entirely different way <laughs> for Pajama <laughs> Sam. But uh, he loses his shit because these trees confiscate his stuff. And it's like, well, I'm not going to go tackle the head honcho of this place without getting my shit back. It's, it's, like, includes... it's like starting Metroid Prime for the first time. Right. Well, any Metroid game for that matter. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. So that includes his flashlight, his mask, and his lunchbox. Am I forgetting anything else? No, that's it. Those are the three that's the, well, well, that's the mandatory stuff, I should stress. Yeah. So the name of the game is Guiding Sam Through the... Was it the Land of Darkness or something yeah, like that? Yeah, the Land of Darkness. The Land of Darkness. Thank you. I'm, I'm actually surprised and somewhat embarrassed by how much I remember of this game. <laughs> Uh, that shows how much of an impact this game has made yes. on you. Yes, again, we did play this a lot growing up. I still, uh, I, I still remember back then when you told me that like if I keep hitting the escape key to like to like skip the cutscenes, skip cut scenes, fuck up right. the computer. Right, right. Because I thought you were ignoring the entire point of a point and click adventure. <laughs> you know, it's about interacting with the environment and the characters. And here you're just blowing through everything. It's like reading the last page first. I was like, oh, fucking fun. Anyway, I speak as someone who really likes speedrunning games or speedrunning or watching people speedrun games anyway, more accurately. Like, I think the fastest time for speedrunning in this game, I believe 100% is like, I think less than two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. Like, because again, the, the name of the game is just you finding your shit and then getting to, uh, the, the, I guess, the, the upper floor of uh, whoever the hell is in charge of this area. Yeah. But the thing is, is that, so as a point and click adventure, there are things that interact, that there are things that change throughout each playthrough, but this game only has so many playthroughs. Yeah. Uh, like, I think in, in total, there's like four playthroughs. Like three or have. four, give or take. The, the, the locations of the main MacGuffins, your flashlight, your mask, and the lunchbox are always going to be in specific locations, but that in itself can change. Yes. Like sometimes, like there will be time, there will be playthroughs where, if I remember this correctly, your lunchbox will be either underwater, yep, uh, or you have to use a magnet to get it. Uh, your flashlight could be in a watershed, yes, that you have to eventually like, like mount up in order to get it. Your the mask though. I think it, one location could be like in a room where the furniture is dancing. Yes. Or some other shit. Yeah, that is one. But, of them. 
but sometimes it can be in different locations. But the, the only real difference is that uh, you just got to solve the puzzle in a different way. It doesn't take that much longer. It yeah. could be shorter, actually. I'm not sure what, like, good RNG is for pajamas, <laughs> but... Uh, still, like, no matter what pathway or what route the game decides to give you for a particular adventure, it's not going to take you very long to finish this game. No, not at all. That said, though, again, it's not really the point of this game, in my opinion. The point of this game is just to interact with a bunch of shit and get a lot of funny dialogue. And as you can see, right, Otto is actually describing how geysers work. Yeah. <laughs> like, legit, he is giving you facts, uh, factoids on geysers, and Sam, you know, being a kid, is bored to death, and then we got the gratuitous educational content. <laughs> like, Humongous Entertainment does have a sense of humor with this sort of shit, um, and I love them for that. Yeah. Bye, Otto. I'll be back soon. So this is actually one of the one of the paths that like the lunchbox could actually be in. It's like next to a well. Also, uh, Sam's lost socks. So yeah. Got, so uh, the main goal of that one is to like see if you can find all of them in the land of darkness, but like you don't really get anything as for bragging rights. Motherfucker. It's got ten pairs of socks. <laughs> ten pairs of socks for a I mean, kid. I mean, to be fair, to be fair. <laughs> what? You, you you can never have too many socks, no matter what age you are. Like I think oh, I and I was like, I'm gonna say my Sam's like, parents were loaded because growing up, I only had maybe three. <laughs> I don't know how many socks I had because I think we just shared them. We just shared yeah, socks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which means we didn't have many to start with. If we're sharing socks. In the first clean, place. clean socks, clean socks, right, mind right. you. We didn't oh, share socks right <laughs> after they were used. It's like, all right, I need, yeah. hey, I need my your, I, I need your socks for tomorrow. Okay. Um, Mom says I, it's my turn on the X socks. <laughs> oh God! So we can't go past. So we can't go past the trees because we're not a tree. Racism. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! Look, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're not a tree. So we gotta disguise ourselves. We have to. We have to wear this log as a helmet. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Sam is looking inside of it to see if maybe he can find something. He ends up getting his head lodged into it, which is a happy accident in our case, because now, uh, if I recall correctly, Sam's going to just stumble around and we just have to guide him through past the trees. Yeah, because they're going to think they're going to assume that like right after Sam left, here comes a tree walking by. I feel like this is like some sort of like early interpretation of a folklore hero that has <laughs> that wears like a wooden crown. What am I thinking of? Uh, probably something from Soulsborne or some other shit. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the lunchbox isn't here. Cause, no, cause, but the mask is. The mask is, yeah. The singing carrot. The sing I forgot about the fucking singing carrot. He, he's a singing carrot and also um, a protester, I believe. Right, right. Uh, an activist, I think. Yeah, he's an activist. That's Actually, the word. he's an activist. The fucking... It's like, this mask belongs to the people. I'm people. I'm literal people. You're just a carrot. Yeah, you're a carrot. I don't mean to sound racist, <laughs> but that's just the facts. Can I have and my... uh, that mask doesn't belong to you. Can I have my mask back? Uh, I don't know. Can you help me? Well, that depends. I can eat the. I can eat your end right now, so I can take my mask back. I can literally consume you and your douchey soul patch. <laughs> You are nothing to me, <laughs> but no, like Sam. Sam is a is a good natured kid, so yeah. obviously he's gonna help the carrot. I could skin you, <laughs> peel you, <laughs> chop you, bake down you to your with, core. With cinnamon. It's actually really. I'm getting hungry just thinking about ways I can murder you. <laughs> so the lunchbox would be right here next to the, next to the well. And you yeah. wouldn't be able to access it so easily because there would be vines and thorns blocking it. But we yeah. got a sock. <laughs> Which makes up for it, I guess. I forget. I think the socks are just bragging rights. Yeah, they are. It's completely yeah, bragging, bragging rights. rights. And it's, uh, like, it's like one of those things where it's like, oh, you did this to completion. Print this out to show how well you did. That's great. I didn't have, we didn't have a printer <laughs> like the longest time. Now, I'm not kidding, folks. Like uh, our, our earliest computer, I got to mention that Packard Bell. Like, we, we got internet for the thing maybe about a year later after having it because it was a personal computer. Was we're basically just using it for educational purposes and to yeah. help write documents and shit like that. But we would not get like internet for it until well, like a year later. In yeah, the American online, of course. Remember um, when AOL was a web browser? Yeah, yeah. I do you remember when we got when they sent us all those lovely drinking coasters that I think. <laughs> We still, I think they said they were CDs. I didn't buy that. I, I thought they were drinking With coasters. 50 hours of AOL. That's amazing. 
God. <laughs> you know, considering how much of a cheapskate Steve is, I'm surprised we never bothered just like reusing the free trial no. disc. <laughs> You know, because like after our first experience with America Online, we did just like ended up subscribing to it. Yeah. Why the hell wouldn't we? It's the internet. It's like why? It, yeah. It's like you, you're getting access to the internet. It's like well, well fuck yeah, I want access yeah, to the internet. Of course. Uh, I don't know, but th th there's also like six of us in this household. <laughs> well, <laughs> four and a half because you were still very young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the water shack. And the flashlight could actually, the flashlight could be in that, but we can't check it because there's no doorknob. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hate when that happens. <laughs> it's like, there's no hole, there's no hole oh, to like try and like open box. it. Yep. All right, right, so we got lunchbox in the water uh, for this playthrough, which means we're going to need the magnet in order to get it. Yes, that would be in the, that would be in what's called Darkness's house. Darkness's house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm automatically thinking Rick James, not gonna lie. I, I was also just kind of automatically <laughs> defaulting to Chappelle's show. Yeah. That's a different kind of darkness, though. Rest his soul, uh, Charlie Murphy. Yeah. But, uh. And if if you were to have access to the, to the well, there would be another opening here where you can see the bucket lowering itself. Yeah, there's just a straight up. up new pathway that's open here, which is like, it's very, very chaotic, the world of darkness. It's like Castlevania. It's yeah. a creature of chaos. <laughs> and it may take many incarnations. This never changes, though, the, the geyser. This is this is essentially how you're exiting out of this area. Yeah, and we got our first pair of socks. And thanks to Otto's lovely educational seminar earlier. Well, I also just noticed something. I'm gonna go back real quick. If you look What's at up? the if you look at the cavern where I'm going towards the geyser, there's actually yeah. a face here. I just noticed this. Uh, vaguely, yeah. The stalactites and stalagmites do form a mouth with teeth. Yeah, and they're like and they're like going and they're looking up like one of the rocks that's like jutting out makes it look like an eye. That, yeah, that's, yeah. That's like, actually a very nice little attention to detail. I like personally. Unfortunately, Sam is. Uh, is an ignorant child and doesn't realize the worth of those gems that are inside that cavern. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, fuck the memorabilia, my guy. Like, you take some of those gems with you, you can buy six lunchboxes. You can <laughs> probably even afford two flashlights. <laughs> Dude, you could get three masks. <laughs> you know how fucking lit that would be? Holy shit. Okay, one for you and two for the carrot. <laughs> I don't know why the carrot needs two masks. Why do you say it like that? I don't. Uh, what the fuck? The voice, the voice of Sam. Yeah. Uh, I believe is Bobby Hill from King of the Hill. I, yeah, it is actually. Uh, let me. I'm gonna check real quick because it's, so. Uh, just for clarification, folks, because it's just Elliot and myself. Uh, we're recording this over a Discord call. Yeah. Uh, Elliot is sharing a screen, which is why our mics might sound a little different. It's basically this is we're essentially doing our live stream setup. Which, to be honest, I could have sworn I just heard Matt, but I, I don't think he's here. No, he's not here. <laughs> Matt's at work. If yeah. he was here, I was like, you fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it is Pamela Adlon, uh, the voice of Bobby Hill from King of the Hill. Oh, she yeah. was actually uh, Ashley Spinelli from, was that Recess? Recess, yeah, that is her. Yeah. Uh, what else did she do? I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Uh, do you need the oil to get? Uh, was it King? King, yeah, because his wheels are rusted. King, his name was King. His name, yeah. Wait, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, no, no I, I wasn't sure. Like, is he named King because his wheels are rusted? No, it's just his, his name is just King. Although, if you look at the sign that's there, like when it yeah, goes it says, back to uh, it, I I never took that as crossing. I never did. For the oh. longest time, I oh, took it as Zing. I, I, yeah, I thought it was I thought it was Xing or some shit. No, no. It's like, I, is, I that, is just, that a sex position? It, no, I used to pronounce it as <laughs> Zing. <laughs> uh, but no, I, it took me a while to realize that no, it, it's supposed to say crossing. I never got that. Oh. Oh, I'm glad that even 30 years later, after <laughs> the game's original release, it's still educating you, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's this is why it, you don't fucking skip the cutscenes with the escape key. It's fulfilling its purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That dip on that track is awfully close to that fucking magma. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm surprised, Sam, just didn't burst in the flames upon reaching the bottom of that area. And another point of this playthrough, we don't have to go to the park that's here because yeah. there there would be there would be board uh this would be boarded up, and you would need a yeah. crowbar to open it. And you, uh, crow oh, was it a hammer? 
It was a hammer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, it was a hammer. And you had to go to a park to get a to get a pencil so that you can make another pathway. Oh, wait, did you just draw? <laughs> yeah, it's connecting the dots. Yeah. Connecting the dots, essentially. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think that, that that shouldn't be slept on though for this game and a, uh, a couple of other humongous entertainment games. The soundtrack is actually really fucking good. Yeah. Very very simple too, depending on yeah, where you Yeah, very go simple, very ambient, but they're very catchy tunes. Yeah. Uh, I think Pajama Sam probably has like the best selections outside of Spy Fox. Spy yeah. Fox also had some great themes too. Sam has no idea what he's gonna do with that pickaxe just yet. <laughs> but it's like I'm good I, I'm not gonna say no to a pickaxe. It's a free pickaxe. Yeah, exactly. And this one's I didn't even see that sock. Yeah, it was just hanging right up there. Yeah. Alright, so we're getting close to like a uh another another point of the of this cart ride where you got to select paths that you're gonna go, but they are gonna go not too fast, but pretty fast. Yeah, you have to click in the middle of the animation, otherwise you're gonna go down to the default path, yep. and it basically takes you back to the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so like, you have about three, Sock. four seconds, I wanna say. Oh yeah, there are also socks to collect here. Yep. And there's one, there's one there, but I can't collect it. I can only get well, one at a time. That's stupid. That is very stupid. I forgot about that limitation. Maybe that's why I hated this section <laughs> as much. <laughs> But thankfully we could thankfully we could we could like go back to it so that so we know it's there. Yeah, we know it's there. Uh, and it doesn't take terribly long to get back to. Again, man, talk fucking Sam is finding all these riches of the world except his three MacGuffins and he never gets an idea to <laughs> take his shit with him. Although I know like we used the pickaxe uh to grab the gold piece yes. so that we can pay the toll for the bridge. Yeah, but because we don't have to go there, we don't have yeah. to get it. Oh, you don't want to play you don't want to play cheese, cheese and, and crackers. crackers? Yeah. <laughs> cheese and crackers, yeah. Hold on. You know, I... every time someone still someone says Havarti, I will just say provolone, even though that's not how you pronounce that cheese, you fucking idiot. <laughs> it's a toaster. How's he going to know the differences yeah. of cheese? <laughs> so, yeah, this is what the pickaxe is for. We we just get we just get a gold nugget and we lose the pickaxe right after. No, thankfully the gold the gold falls off it and immediately. Imagine if the pickaxe crumbled and the gold didn't fall off. It's like, okay, this, this game just got an hour longer because Sam's not got to reach into that shit and pull it out. So, so like, because we're using King for his services, he demands gold. He demands payment. Yeah, man, no fucking free rides here. I don't give a shit. Here, <laughs> uh, there's one more path we got to go and we just got to go straight this way. All right, did, did you grab that sock? Yeah, I did. Along the way? Okay, I wasn't sure if you, you grabbed it or not. And there's no sock here. Oh, you can still see the bucket, though. Yeah. It's on the well. Still no sock. Oh, wait, you know what? I just remembered that fucking, uh, that mining mini game. Yeah. I don't remember where that's at specifically. Um, let me see. Go here. We go this way to the right. Yeah. And then we go straight this we way. We go straight this way. Because I think the bottom here, path. Yeah, there it is. The yeah. RMT. Remote yeah, uh, mining this... terminal. So this is just the optional minigame. You don't you don't get anything for doing this. Yeah. Uh, it's just it's basically just a score attack. Still wasted a lot of time with it. Oh, yeah. You know, basically, a game within a game, it was like I was getting two games for the price of... Well, I didn't pay for it because, you know, <laughs> I was a kid. Yeah, so it's pretty much a game of Snake. Yeah. You're literally uh, guiding this cart to collect all of the gems in the pathway. And then afterwards, you're, you can go on to the next level. Ah, I missed a special gem. You missed a special one. That's fine. We, there's like oh, X this is amount endless. of levels. Yeah, this is endless. Uh, I want to say, yeah, well, look, there's three digits on the level. I, oh, I, shit. Don't think, I don't think I've ever gotten I don't... to 900, 999. Yeah, I was going to say, like, can you get up to 999? <laughs> I would assume you can if they gave you three digits. Like Jesus Christ! <laughs> the thing is, though, like, would like, would you still be, would you have the patience to even reach that far? Because I, I I'll get as far as like level twenty, and then I'll stop. Yeah. You know, because the thing about this though, about this game, is that the the further you go, I I believe the faster it also gets too. Yes. You got to go for the potato bird, whatever the hell that thing is supposed to be. I think that's supposed to hit him. Like that's supposed to hit the cart. Really? At least I but think. But it's like it, like it loaded all the way in the edge. Like there's no there's no possible way that could be construed as a threat. I I don't know. Honestly, I don't remember the potato bird. Yeah. Oh, hold on. There's a special one here. 
Oh, I think I got an extra life. Do you have enough? I got seven. <laughs> like, 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 I don't know. I don't think you can do it. Got it. <laughs> oh, where's my fanfare? What's the fanfare <laughs> I like? Oh, Christ. I remember this one. Everything was like so fucking spaced out. Yeah, but you can speed up at the very least, I believe. No. You can't? No, this is... Damn. I'm just at the default speed. That's just, This is dumb. Let's make this the last level. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you almost crashed into the fucking wall, though. Oh, oh you shit. missed the gem. <laughs> it's like, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. But look, yeah. there's a treasure chest. Aw, oh, 14,270. God damn it. I went Wait, four, what? I went 14,200. Oh. I went 14,200. Oh my god, I really for I forgot how slow this shit is. Yeah, like I I, I could have sworn there was a way you can speed it up. But it's been so long since I played this game myself that I am just drawing a blank. Yeah, I, I don't even remember a way to pick up speed. The fuck are we even doing with all this damn gems? I mean, I know it's not real, but when the hell has that stopped <laughs> anybody else from asking a <laughs> stupid question to fill the time? Uh, Gnomes? gonna go for it <laughs> do not be tempted my lord <laughs> like gnomes love mining they, they they love mining for gems oh i thought you're like this the act of mining in and of itself they don't give a fuck what they're actually mining for they just like swinging pickaxes <laughs> yeah we did it okay yeah, we we're did good it. all right cool <laughs> sam board <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, life before smartphones was a strange time indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to play mining games with inside a mine shaft. A very dangerous mine shaft at that. <laughs> Back in my mine shaft days, there were there were blackjack and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You just gave me the idea. I, I'm sorry for this, but you just gave me the idea of like 30 years later, Sam with his wife is into that BDSM and he still wears the fucking pajama man oh, mask. Oh, Christ. Like <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's an image. That is an image. No, actually, I, I always took it that when if it when Sam would have would eventually grow up, he'd look like pajama man. Yeah, definitely. So, this is the way to Darkness's house to go inside, but there's no stairs, so we got we had to play a game of weights. <laughs> yeah. But this this is easy as shit if I recall correctly. You literally I think you can just um the the big one and the medium one is enough. Yeah. But like, you know, you to, you, I I believe you have to actually use all three of them. Oh, then there's no puzzle. No, because um I mean, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter as long as the bucket weighs more than the carrying case and Sam. Yeah. Uh, I love that the rocks have eyes. I was like, this fucker like, <laughs> All right, <fine>. clearly needs help. <laughs> they just toss them in the basket. I guess I weigh more than one stone. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was right. I am fat. <laughs> <laughs> and now the big one. Jesus. <laughs> what if he's a dick and this is the one that doesn't jump, so you actually have to try and fucking aim it and see, throw out your shoulders in the same time. See, my, now, my question is, practically, how does how does Darkness actually try to get himself up there like without having to climb the rope? Because when he's probably up there... Has a, Darkness probably has a secret entrance that only Darkness knows about. <laughs> the shadows. Yeah, yeah. Probably guess, it could be the mailbox. Probably, yeah. All right, so let's get we can get the mask actually right now. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, we're gonna get our first, uh, key item here. So, let, let, let's, real quick. Yeah, let's interact with the, uh, the fridge first. So he knows that the carrots are trying to rebel away. They're, he knows about them. Alright, let's get our mask. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> Yeah, they just sort of boom, whole musical here. Yep. And this is the only time in the whole game. <laughs> yeah, so it comes out really fucking random. But when you but when you interact with things in the kitchen, you realize why it's like this. 
So it's like, there's a bit of lore to the singing kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it because everyone sings in the kitchen? Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, everything yeah, yeah. sings. I think except for the dumbwaiter. Carrots. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You don't. See, you don't. With me, and you're free to go. God. Free? Yes, free. Free. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know. I like that. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> so this fridge is gonna kill Sam, right? Like it's like, all right, well, if you made me lose my carrots, you know, I'm gonna just stuff you in here. My you green... carrots. <laughs> you ever fucking read Green Lantern? <laughs> Spoiler warning. <laughs> Yo, fuck! Oh, shit! God damn! Oh, fuck! That went dark! Oh, so to be fair, though, oh, really, not the Evil Dead reference I made. Like, yeah! Really the fucking thing. But, uh, you know what? Yeah, fair. Yeah. Uh, we can also check. So, uh, this, is the, this is the room with the dancing furniture. Uh, and and if you did not have to deal with the uh, singing carrot, this is where the mask would be too. Yeah, uh, it would be under the the leg of the big purple couch. Yes, uh, and then you would have to make an invisibility potion. Yeah, uh, to sneak into the room without the furniture knowing, so that you can grab the mask at your leisure. It's three thirty. God damn! In the morning? Shit. Holy shit! Maybe I should like, turn on the music like. Again. Sam doesn't realize this, but this is where he, his night owl journey begins. <laughs> yeah. So, and like, for the longest time, I, I, I see the couch, I, I just think Grimace. Hold on, I just realized something. What? The fucking photo above the door frame. Uh, let me see, hold on. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, his dad. It's fucking, uh, yeah, it's just like, I didn't realize Darkness had a family. I thought he was just by himself, the lonely fuck. <laughs> Like he lives here by himself, by but he he has a dad. I would just okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, a darkness senior. Like, what what would what would his name be in that case? What, like, darkness's father? Yeah, probably Mister Darkness. I don't know. I never really thought about it. I, I, Darkness I just now, Senior. I'm just now realizing that photo. Or maybe it's, maybe it's you know, because we, we saw outside of the house this mailbox, and it, it, it says D-Ness, which obviously they couldn't f fit Darkness. In so it. is a first name Dark, last name Ness? Yeah, probably. I don't want you tickling my brain, please. That that sounds like that sounds like a lawsuit. What's your name, son? It's Sam. He's Sam. The closet. I don't collect stamps. You're making that up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you want to win? <laughs> I know. It's like you gotta, you gotta have a prerequisite for stamp collecting if you even want to stand a chance. I was like, what this? This game's fucked up. <laughs> the implication is that a child stamp collects. <laughs> So it's, it's just a game of trivia, essentially. Yeah, so and like, it's general trivia too. Yeah. So the reason that when you're in the cave and you check the water heater that's there, that then you're gonna know that it's gonna be for this trivia game. So yeah. like, let, let's just do Land of Darkness real quick. Yeah, because this this requires you to pay attention to background elements. Yeah. So because of this, um, because you check the number, all of these answers won't be there. They're just gonna be yeah. answers that's just gonna be like, oh, you, well, you don't know it. You're look around, dipshit. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's not the correct oh, answer. oh, it's 378. Fuck. Oh. Well, you know the rules, Sam. Then he fucking pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Should have collected those stamps, buddy. Uh, take me back. <laughs> Thankfully, you got infinite tries for this. Yeah. Oh, they, they, they fucking switched the numbers. Yeah, up, they switched the numbers, now, yeah. Now you have to hit the button that was originally the incorrect number, but now it is the right <laughs> pedal. Absolutely right. You've done your homework. More, no, more so it was just process of elimination. <laughs> wow, you've played this game before, haven't you? <laughs> You're doing well. Go ahead and choose another category. All right, uh, hey, when in doubt, War of Attrition. Uh, pick a category, John. Art. Art. I'll try it. All right, here is your question. Who painted the Mona Lisa? <laughs> da Vinci? <laughs> 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 Fucking Christ. 
<laughs> like jolly old Saint Nick. Fucking Santa Claus at his downtime. <laughs> just made it the Mona Lisa. I was like, what the fuck? And then, so or or you like can that. have Sam just be like, oh, I'm the motherfucker that made it. That's my yeah, art. It was me. <laughs> right. He sells fucking counterfeits. <laughs> You're going down a dark path, Sam, and I don't need the land of darkness. Here is your question. The headbone is connected to the... Huh? Huh? <laughs> Where the fucking... I said... <laughs> it's like the equivalent of the parent like, getting louder when you don't know an answer to a math question. Yeah. If you have five apples and you take away three, how many do you have left? Uh... If you have five apples, <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop yelling at me! <laughs> All right, here is All right ancient Egypt. Face is depicted on the sphinx. Napoleon Bonaparte. Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, oh, shit! An obscure Egyptian king who only ruled for ten years. The correct answer is damn King Khafre. I don't know what you put in my coffee. I'm so embarrassed, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I, didn't. I, I was going to choose King Tut, too. But, uh... Let me try ancient Egypt. Uh, wait, were you... Right. Hey, comment section, were you going to put it in... Were you going to answer King Tut? <laughs> don't if you, answer that. They're just going to lie. I was going to say, like, if you, if, you say, if you say no, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, obviously, the, this is clearly named off of the winged dragon of Bob. Oh, yeah. You correctly answered questions from all four categories that makes you the new brain tickler grand champion which means someone answered three correct <laughs> with the infinite tries they have <laughs> god the fucking faces though as the new grand champion Sam has won the right to pass through the doors of knowledge anytime he chooses. God, the faces are weird. See, this is why they give you infinite tries, because the prize amounts to jack and shit. Yeah. Like, there's no, actual, there's no actual cash prizes in this trivia game. Yeah. You can just open the door. It's, it's like winning the lottery and seeing all of them gone because of taxes. Yeah. The doors will also refer to you as Mr. Grand Champion from this yeah. point forward. And it's like, just Sam is fine, thank you. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, it is our doorknob, actually. <laughs> now, the music room that's actually on the left, yeah. we we would go in there so that we could get ores so that we could try and get to the well. Yeah, but we don't need it for this one. But we can still check that, it. That, that's right, because the thing blocking your path to the well is a waterfall. And yeah. And you're not, you're not fast enough with auto by itself. Oh, there's also a sock up here, too, in the organ. Yeah. Just well, barely see that son of a bitch. Yeah, it's it's one of those it's one of those things where it's like you just really gotta look at everything. How come? Because I ain't got nobody. Christ, <laughs> fucking kill me, end me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if we go pet put all this work on memorabilia, that probably wouldn't sell for five cents on eBay. Now, around here, there would actually be a grandfather clock, too. Yeah, that's right. Uh, what was inside? You get a gear. A gear, uh, yeah. You would get a gear from the clock. Yeah, because so we could take that back to the cave so that we could try to get the flashlight. Right. Uh, another sock. What do you know? Another sock. Is it matching? No. It's a no. new one. Let me see. We're missing one, two, three, five socks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Five fucking socks. Why is he getting so place? many fucking socks? <laughs> so here, here's, it's, it's a quick, it's a very quick puzzle. We just like, we see the bookshelf, read the book, see that it's blue on this one. So we just push in all the blue books. Oh, really? I never took the outer rim of the, the book on the stand as a clue itself. I just, I just listened to the rhyme. Yeah. Um, because yeah, it, it does change between all four colors. Yes. So all you got to do is listen to it once, and that's it. Oh, yeah, there's a magnet there. Oh, that's right. I remember this one. I actually hated getting the magnet because it required you to backtrack all the way back to that fucking room. Yeah, but th thankfully, there's like, an, there's like a door that goes back to the caves, to the mining yeah. cave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the mining room allows you to... Uh, yeah, it actually essentially is a shortcut. So it, yeah. it doesn't take that long, but I was like, man, like I know exactly what I got to do, <laughs> but... 
secret mad scientist. Uh, right. Uh, this is this is where we make the invisibility potion. Yeah. So like, there's actually a few uh, potions we can make, like weather control, disguising, uh, making ourselves louder, make making marshmallows. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Yeah, this is actually the this is probably the most like useless one, but it's just, you do it for a gag. Yeah. A marshmallow. Yeah, just a marshmallow. And he eats it raw, like he didn't even fucking roast that shit. Nope. <laughs> and here's the I even... can't fuck with roast. I can't fuck with raw marshmallows. Dude. Yeah, this is the invisibility potion. You're doing this. You're making this potion if the mask is inside of the dancing furniture room. Yeah. The other thing, though, as well, is that you would find a nail that you need the magnet for so that you could get the blue potion that would be up here. Yeah. All right. So let's let's get the uh, let's get the magnet that laundry chute takes you back to the kitchen uh you had yeah you had to call the dumb waiter down so that you could do yeah. it yeah but you, you, you have to do it from the kitchen you have yeah yeah I was, well i was gonna ask because like if we i guess hey, hindsight's 2020 20, yeah if we knew that we would have uh called the thing down while on our first visit Howdy, Sam. Howdy. and we made it back <laughs> so so we just go in we just go in king god <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. You, yeah, you know, he's a minecart. <laughs> we go in King to go back. You know, same deal. That way, we could just go back to the front door of Darkness's house. What's to... Sam doing? He's riding King again. You gotta <laughs> fucking, can we call the police? <laughs> <laughs> ah, he's plucking my wood. <laughs> oh, 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 shit! There's a sock up here. I didn't even see that shit. Holy shit! Damn. I guess it's just harder to see shit like when you're getting older and I'm wearing fucking thick ass glasses. Like, <laughs> this sucks. What about the lunch uh not the lunchbox, fucking the mailbox. Uh, like was see. there anything inside there? I think I think just for There's no mail. Beat it. Uh, damn. I mean, fuck say less. <laughs> it's like that's fuck that's a bill I don't got to Actually, hold about. on. Before I do that, let's actually let's actually go to that park. There might be a sock there. Uh which one? Uh, where you play oh, cheese the, and crackers. Where you play cheese and crackers? Yeah, yeah. Which, like, it's it's a very quick trip. Although, we had to go through here anyway because we got the doorknob. Yeah. So we can at least get the flashlight. Yeah, so might as well just do that. Like, this is how simple it is to install a doorknob onto a door. I wish it was this fucking simple. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, that's literally it. Fucking That's literally like, it. Sam is less of a superhero and more of the land of darkness as handyman. <laughs> like he's doing all of this menial labor for free. Yep. And it's like land of darkness is going to have a bunch of fucking civil suits in its future <laughs> with the amount of shit they're having this child do <laughs> just to get the hell out of here. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, darkness, watch out. All right, so we got the mask and our flashlight. All that's left is the lunchbox. Holy shit, wild glizzies. <laughs> <laughs> this land is, is certainly strange and unusual. <laughs> All right, so we had to give the we had to pay the toll the bridge toll essentially. Here you go. All right, you're <laughs> here. <Go laughs> Dude, on, my, my fucking, he's checking it to see if it's real. Yeah. <laughs> Like, God damn. So I can imagine, like, what do you think he'd do if you like it was fake? We'd like you just fucking, all right, your life is forfeit. <laughs> and here's that toaster who doesn't know cheese. I love the loafers. Yeah. On the back, if only because of, because the, the, the damn mouth of the shoe just looks, yeah, it's like they treat it as a mouth and it's a. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So here's our tutorial of cheese and crackers. It is exactly what you think it is. Yeah, it's it's just tit tat tat. Which you're gonna be, the cheese or the crackers? The cheese, of course. You can't just say that. <laughs> I'm a minority. I can't be the cracker. Yeah, you fuck you. You can't just say crackers like that, dude. I'm gonna be the cheese. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel as uncomfortable. It's In just fact, a Ritz, I like cheese. It's a fucking Ritz it's cracker. It's also just a Ritz cracker, yeah. Uh, where should we put our first cheese? Uh, when it, you you always take middle for yourself. That way, at the very least, the game ends in a tie. <laughs> All right, oh, now we're gonna set up a trap. Yeah, oh, yeah. take a like, take a corner spot. Uh, oh, he uh, two weighed uh, us. Uh, oh, he two. Uh, he oh, two yeah, weighed look us. That. Look at that fucking like. We we we. we 
fucking no, racist you're power. You're <laughs> 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 like he just blatantly. He did oh, take it. A fucking idiot. Never mind. Holy racist never prevails. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cheese yeah, I and crackers, dude. I what kind a dumbass. Of, I kind of forgot that the AI is kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> boy that, and then you could go further you could do five by five or fucking no that, seven that, they, by seven they, they, they take so fucking long yeah at that point you're not even playing tic tac toe you're playing connect four like with <laughs> cheese and crackers yeah i didn't see a sock there though so nah. Hold it. If you're oh yeah we got they gotta stamp us to stamp your hand. oh okay you wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me thanks I wonder what the stamp is, because we don't get a uh, we don't get a very clear look of what is what he stamped. No, no, it's just that like the the, the symbol of friendship from like Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> Fuck but it's only like a quarter circle. It's probably just like like half bitten cheese, <laughs> or some other shit. I don't know. Or a cracker on cheese. Yeah. Or cheese on a cracker. I, no, I like cracker on cheese. It just gave me the idea of like this pathetic slice of cheese just sitting on a table with a cracker laying on top of it. So, real quick, let me just see in the kitchen again. Okay, there's not a sock. So, we. So, so this is where we could uh, take the uh, dumbwaiter to go down. Yeah, and you have to do it from up here. Yeah. And if, we, if, if only we knew, like, ahead of time. Uh, we could have done that earlier and save us a backtrack. Yeah. At the same time, we still needed to get the flashlight. So that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So we could. So same thing. Just, I just don't travel care. back. I really. The question. I deserve to read half of the question. Ooh, just fucking game show host drama. <laughs> Holy shit. Which one do you think does coke? The left one. Good the left thing. one. Yeah. No, I don't know. The, look at the crow's feet on the fucking right guy. Yeah, he has crow's feet, yeah, but No, that's... okay, yeah, yeah, I guess if you do coke, you are peppy. Yeah. And, like, he wouldn't get crow's feet until the inevitable crash and burn. He probably dies in a motor vehicle accident, <laughs> now that Christ. I'm thinking about it. The guy in the crow's feet is only seeing this inevitability possible in, like, in a couple of years' time, just mentally processing that. <laughs> These are the lessons Sam will eventually learn, <laughs> I think, by the sixth game. All right, so we got we got our magnet. <laughs> And, all right, so we could just we could just go down, to, go to the get to the dumb waiter, and then just backtrack to the kitchen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Although I'm not seeing any socks. Fuck okay, it, I want to I I, I want to go I, I want I want the I want the game with pajama Sam like as he's entering like like he's he's getting ready to leave high school and he's just in, he's getting to enjoy all of these new feelings that he's experiencing and the subtitle is i beat my meat to hands and feet <laughs> oh god i was like man the land of darkness really hit this kid hard <laughs> I, I i personally blame the parents because seriously where the fuck are they asleep yeah, probably yeah it is 3 30 in the morning <laughs> or 3 30 in whatever time the land of darkness is it, it is 3 30 just yeah that's it it's just 3 30 <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get let's get the lunch box <laughs> yeah let's get the lunch box it's the last thing we need after this we can just we can hightail to end game Unfortunately, I can't. I, I I don't see any other socks though. No, I don't either. I mean, if they're as cryptic as the other ones, though, we could have been. It could have been staring at us directly without us never knowing. Which usually happens. Yeah, I can only recall a handful of times where I actually gotten all the socks just Same. from like actually staring at it. Hey, I've got an idea. What are you gonna Would this actually work scientifically? Oh no, I don't think they do. I had this friend and. Well you, know? well, you gotta tell your fucking friend to get off Facebook, my guy. <laughs> it's like, it, Otto is literally the, the definition of source, trust me, bro. Yeah. He's <laughs> got a friend of a friend who told him this uh, because he said it has to be true. <laughs> so we got the sock. Not the sock. The box. The lunch box. Yeah. <laughs> the lunch sock. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's extra crusty today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! So we got we have our items. We have our we got our MacGuffins back. Yeah, we're 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 ready to go for the end game. All we gotta do now is head to the 
Darkness's uh, uh, office or some of the shit. I actually don't know. I think it's just his bedroom. Yeah, it is his bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. This is it's so weird. Like having to like having to record this for 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 this. But yeah, because this is something like, we just humor. But then we like the more we thought about, it, I was like, well, this game is not very long. Well, Elliot was telling me that you can beat it in like half an hour if you were like really booking. It. I was like, wait, is it that short? Because my memories of this game, I was playing this game for like maybe two, three hours on time. Because again, I would interact with every little fucking yeah. thing about this game. Like, it's not something we're really demonstrating for this playthrough, but there are so many little things you can click and a, a little animation plays just for the sake of, you know, giving you some visual entertainment. Yeah, like, you know, Humongous Entertainment really loved doing this shit. Yeah, yeah. This is far from the only example, too. Again, to mention like Spy Fox and Backyard Sports. Oh, actually, I just saw Putt Putt on the yeah. top right of the shelf there. I wonder if like the Putt Putt actually does anything. There's a dog inside that. That's Pep. That's his dog. Oh, there's a sock in the vine there, though. Yeah. Damn. Run Dude, ruined. check out the check out the portrait underneath the floorboard there. You can just barely see a smile in that sort of shit. That's creepy as shit. <laughs> Oh Christ, that that is weird. Oh. When you're good to go, though, um, I think all you gotta do is like click on the door. Yeah, itself. we yeah we just yeah. go in. The run's ruined though. This ain't a hundred percent. No, it's not. I guess Sam's gonna just have to learn how to deal live with eight pairs of socks <laughs> instead of ten. <laughs> There's another sock right there though. Notice how it's modeled like to look like Sam's room. Hello? Yeah. So maybe so, the true darkness was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> then you, you start questioning now. Is like, is this all in Sam's head? Oh right. Um. Sometimes the so sometimes this door is not always locked. I think. No, it usually is. It usually is. Okay, because I I recall like uh, I I recall there are some routes where you don't have to do this key thing. No, the key the key thing is a, a constant. Is it a constant thing? Okay, I'm just misremembering then. But yeah, we we found the right key. <laughs> All right, okay, not a fuck. A big fucking padlock, goddamn. Not a fuck darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Up, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go in the closet and fuck darkness. Okay, easy there, Sam. All right, don't you just can't say that. <laughs> and time, you, guys. What happens when kids are born with a smartphone in their hands? <laughs> Look at this! Look at this motherfucker! I will still say that to myself, by the way, even today, whenever I see the word vanquish. <laughs> Just vanquish. Is that fun? Fun. Yeah. Like I said, that shows the impact of this game that it, that it made on you. So this is kind of throwing me for a loop, because I'm used to there being a little more delay between vocal lines. But that's because we're on a computer that's not a fucking potato. Yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not a fucking rock that you can when find we, at Stonehenge. When we originally when we used to play this game all the time, there would be like a second or two delay between voice lines. And I, I I'm still that's how I remember those scenes. Yeah. But now it's playing at like at a rapid pace and it's kinda of throwing me off. I'm kinda of scared, Elliot. Like this is the actual fear of the world of darkness is the benefits of SSD technology. Damn, darkness is just as dumb. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you never see darkness in that toaster in the same room at the same time. I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait, they make darkness look like a fucking specter. Yeah. Maybe it's just a, just a fun reflection off of Sam. Their bedrooms are very similar. Yeah, exactly. Boy, fucking Sam's got that shag carpet, dude. Like, that thing must be a fucking nightmare to vacuum. <laughs> Imagine brushing that shit. Everything comes out. Then I remember, like, he uses a sock to turn off the light. He's like, man, imagine a game where you can use a sock as, like, a Belmont whip. <laughs> Don't wink at me when I'm sleeping like that, dude. <laughs> Don't wake me. I'm just watching. <laughs> Close the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, Lord. And that's it, though. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's literally, literally it. it. <laughs> that is literally it. That is the end of the game. Okay, we're just again. It's yeah, Halloween fest. Fun. Doesn't need to be all doom and gloom. We like to have, I like to have a little fun here. Oh, this got re-released in two thousand two. 
I don't recall that at all. I think they made that up. No, that was probably <laughs> right after uh, the third game came out, and they probably like made like a trilogy compilation or some other shit. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. I do shit. like, oh yeah, the fucking text is right. No, fucking, like, the game's getting corrupted, Elliot. You should probably <laughs> turn it off before the darkness overtakes everything. I, I do love, like, these, like, the, these still images of your adventure. Yeah. Of, uh, of pathways you may have not have taken, or at least Easter eggs that you may have not discovered, because everything that you see in these panels, you can do in the game. Yes. Like, th well, this is just the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure these are just, like, storyboard, like, pieces. Uh, essentially like fully colored storyboard pieces probably yeah yeah because the, the detail is a, a little more uh in depth than the animation itself but, i mean to be fair that's just to save on costs yeah but yeah that's gonna do it for for us for pajama sam no need to hide when it's dark outside <laughs> I, I i feel i i shouldn't be asking this but i should ask anyway because i'm pretty sure that there are some folks here that played humongous entertainment games themselves yeah. and if you did you're probably as old as i am and what the fuck are you doing watching this channel <laughs> uh, but uh did you play humongous entertainment games growing up if so do you have a do you have a favorite do which one do you have the most memories of and would you like to see us play others later down the road <laughs> yeah because like, i got when we're pressed for time and we gotta fill the schedule like, i got i got putt putt travels through time i got fucking pajama sam 2 i got spy fox the first game I didn't play. And we sequels. got backyard sports running too. Yeah. So the, the, just to go quickly into this because I, I I wasn't sure when to bring it up, but humongous entertainment is not a thing anymore. Uh, it was it, it's long been defunct uh, since the mid two thousands, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then it got absorbed by what was it? Info infograms. Infogram? Infograms. Thank you. Which is like a subs subsidiary of of uh, fucking what company again? I'm I I'm, don't I'm drawing remember. a blank. I don't remember. Uh, Atari, Atari. Oh, Atari. it is Atari. It's, okay. it, it is Atari. Uh, and uh, most of the earliest Humongous Entertainment games, if they don't have a Steam release outright, they're abandoned. Yeah. Like, yeah, you just can't get them anymore. Uh, outside of, like, free downloads from a website that's easily, like, reachable. You can yeah. Do a quick Google search on it. But because these games are also hella old. <laughs> uh, <laughs> older, than, older than Elliot, I have to stress. They are yes. older than Elliot. Uh, you essentially have to run a virtual machine just to run some of them. I mean, thankfully, this one at least, like the first three Pajama Sam games and I think the first two Spy Fox games are on Steam. Yes, they are. But like Backyard Sports Baseball? Uh, that's that's abandoned. Putt, putt, I think. Spy Fox? Is Spy Fox a... uh, in Steam? I'm not entirely putt, sure. Uh, putt Putt's on Steam. Uh, Spy yeah. Fox, Freddy Fish. Yeah, Freddy Fish are... <laughs> oh shit! Kind we made it to the end of the credits. Fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, because they're not very long, and I think that's a proper point to wrap up. No animals were harmed, and no cheese was eaten in the making of this game. That's a fucking lie. No, but that's like even if it were true, why do we take all that fucking cheese out if you're not gonna eat it? <laughs> mm, cheese. So you see that right? <laughs> that's a lie because they're fucking. Like, <laughs> I just, I just ate that cheese. Oh fuck! I'm lactose. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, we hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, bye. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed your time <laughs> or our time with uh, Pajama Sam. Uh, no need to hide when it's dark outside. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you guys uh, for more Halloween Fest 2023 festivities later down the road. Have a good night, everybody, and take care.